Hey guys, hey guys, this is your girl, Living Caregiver Uncut, and it's another beautiful day that the Lord had made, and we are going to be glad in it. So guys, let's get into our topic so I can talk more to you all. Anyway, if it's your first time watching my video or coming across my video, I am your girl, Living Caregiver Uncut. I am a traveling caregiver. I am a nurse by profession, but I chose to work as a caregiver, a live-in caregiver, where I live with the clients in their home and care for them. Wherever it is in the United States, I will fly to you. Okay? Yes, I have a passion for working for the elderly, and I've been doing this for 22 years. And I'm enjoying it. I love to love, 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 love the elderly. I love to hear their infamous story. I love the different culture, the different lifestyle. It's so much to learn. I love the advice and the counsel. They counsel me. Oh my God, on relationship, you know, and the longevity of their relationships and stuff like that. Oh my God, it's so much to learn from these elderly. I am telling you, guys, if you are considering to be a caregiver, Go back to my videos and watch and it will walk you through. But you got to check yourself because if you have a criminal record, you cannot work with the elderly kids. You can't even work in people's home, period. So think about that too. Don't waste your time, okay? All right. And I want to thank my subscriber, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Oh my goodness. And the ones who don't subscribe but you watch. Guess what? I still love you. I still love you because you're still watching my videos. And guys, remember, go over and subscribe to my videos on YouTube, you know, and share with your friends. Share with your friends. There's always something to learn, and I want to hear from you. I love to hear the stories from you guys so I can talk about it, okay? And it's not only about caregiving, only I talk about self-esteem, lifestyle, beauty, do I talk about beauty? My kind of beauty, okay? How to care for your skin and all. Can you see I have beautiful skin? Yes. I love, love to take this nice skin product, but my major one is Olay. I love Olay. Olay all over. Olay night, day, sleeping. I'm Olay. I'm the Olay girl too, okay? All right. And some of you asked me about my clothing. My clothing, where I buy my clothes. I can buy my clothes from anywhere. Because the clothes don't wear me. I wear the clothes. I rock those clothes, okay? Yes, so wherever I bought Fashion Nova, wherever, Fashion Nova is one of my main things because their pants fit me well and stuff. So wherever the sale is, I'll get it and buy my clothes. Anyway, so let's get into the continuation topic. I'm trying to race it a little bit because I want to get a lot into you guys. Okay, we are still on the topic of buying my buying how do I build my home from the ground up and I am a caregiver. It doesn't matter what kind of work you do, work hard, save your money, pay your taxes. Guys, you gotta pay your taxes. You cannot do nothing unless you pay your taxes and you are not owing anything. Well, if you owe, you can make arrangements to pay, but don't hide from the IRS because they'll find you. And it's your life is gonna be a mess. Okay, all right, so let's get into it. Remember I said I have something very, 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 very important to tell you about? Yes, let's get into it. When you are purchasing a home or building a home, because it goes for both, always talk about, let they explain to you about your land. If you your property have a lot of land, find out from them if away from where the house is, if the rest of the land, if you can build another house on it or anything like that, because I've seen stories, I've heard stories one recently, and I've known, I've known about one back then when I was building my house, where the, I think the property was four, four and a half acres. Yes, four and a half acres, but the owner, was only allowed to use to build on two and a half acres. The next two acres, she cannot do nothing on it at all. I don't remember what they call it. You can find out from your realtor 
and stuff like that you so you want to know that if you buy four and a half acres of land you can access all the land why would i buy four and a half acres and two acres i can't do nothing and the land look normal is not anything poisonous or anything detrimental but i don't know what they call it but you cannot use the rest of the land so that's like a waste of money so there was something similar like that in my community where um the houses across from me there's a a whole lot of land behind that perimeter wall that belongs to the owner <laughs> but they cannot do nothing beyond that wall and that was drawn to my attention when i was building my house and i'm like no i don't want to get involved in that because if i have half an acre i want to know that i am using my ent i can do stuff if i want to put another home if i want to put a swimming pool if i want to do whatever i want to know that i have access with that land and i don't i'm not i'm and <laughs> And I'm not in any problem with the city because you know anything you gotta do on that property you gotta get it approved so I want to know when I go to get it approved they don't say oh no you can't yeah so pay attention to those things too ladies and gentlemen you want to use everything that you bought okay yes if you want to raise some chicken and I'm not talking about in neighborhood like my neighborhood but like if you buy in the rural areas where you can do some form of farming or whatever, or livestock on your land or whatever, then you want to know that I can get some chicken and some goats and some pigs and some horses and, you know, whether a lot of dogs and stuff like that. So yes, pay attention to those things too. And guys, let me tell you something always pray about your neighbors too you know when you're gonna buy your house build a house talk to god and ask them to bless you with great neighbors because i'm blessed with great neighbors i have very 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 great neighbors so yes i am telling you i am blessed and highly favored god favored me in so many ways i cannot complain you know i'm gonna complain about little stuff because i'm human I am not God, so I am going to be, da, 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 da. but I learned along the way to zip it up and accept where I'm at in life, accept who I am and ask God to bless me more and show God that I want to be blessed more. So I'm going to be moving forward to my dreams because you cannot sit down and God going to bless you while you sit on your nope you gotta go out there and do it yes you gotta go out there and do it okay so i let me see if i miss anything anything about um yes and you know okay let's talk about this too okay so when you build your home and you move into your home and stuff remember they're gonna if it's a new home you have a year there's a one year warranty some some places is like um two-year warranty some is three-year warranty that you get from the builders on the home guys put a reminder on your calendar stick it up on your dresser in your bathroom now you can put a reminder on your phone or somewhere so you don't let that one year slip by so anything that need to be corrected you know nobody's perfect if something wasn't done properly or so you can call them during that one year and they'll get it fixed for you and you have to be attentive you got to pay attention on your money that you invest in this house you got to pay attention when I built my home there was a when I moved in there was a rushing noise in the master bathroom wall at nights only at nights it's like a gush of water rushing and I, it used to wake me out of my sleep and I was like, no, something is wrong. And I called the builders and they came, they never heard the sound. And as I said, the sound is at night. This gushing water is like a fountain of water that's gushing. 
and I know I'm not losing my mind. I'm not dreaming or anything. I'm not looking anything extra from the builders. So I recorded the sound and they heard it and they didn't tell me what it was, but they came in and they take up the entire toilet and chop the wall out and everything. And ever since they do that and replace a new toilet bowl and everything, that sound was gone. So I am saying this, when you moved in your new home, I don't know about used home if you get um, a warranty on it, but when you move in a new home, look for cracks anywhere. If Look at your carpet, look at your hardwood, look at your tile, make sure everything is lined up properly because they will have to change it if you don't like it. If they do a shitty job, they will have to change it. So guys, look out for those things any cracks in the wall go into your attic and look and see if anything is not done right and things like that sometimes the mirror one house i went in the mirror wasn't set properly on the wall you gotta pay attention to those things too and you know you do a walkthrough before the keys hand over to you so you can point out pinpoint out stuff but you know when you're moving that's when you're gonna see what's going on and things like that yeah look for dent and scratches in the on the appliances and things like that you know just look and see what's going on outside and inside of your beautiful home that you'll be living in and paying those money for okay yes so guys i hope i educate you if there's anything else come to my mind I will let you know and oh one more thing before I go when you live in a new community be vigilant is that the word <laughs> vigilant vigilant I'm not joking the word is vigilant look out in your surrounding because people will come with trucks like they are delivering stuff when they're stealing so keep an open eyes for your neighbors and stuff like that yes and watch who comes and go because there's a bunch of trailer coming in and out dropping off material appliances and things like that okay yes so you watch out for oh and i have something else to tell you so i will go into i will have to have another part i think it's six because this one is very important and watch out with these contractors I will have to have a part six with this one because I have to share my experience with you so you can look out for these things too. Okay, guys, let me tell you something. COVID is coming back. I don't know what's going on, but guys, let me tell you something. Remember to wear your mask. Do not take any chances. Wear your mask, social distancing. Wash your hands. Guys, that's the first part of protecting you. Wash your hands, social distancing, and wear your mask all the time. Okay? Don't take anything for granted. This thing is going. It's a killer. It has taken so many people's life, and we want to nip it in the bud, but we need your help. We need the public, myself, and the public, too, to take precautions. So I'm hoping you are watching my videos Please take precaution with yourself and your family and protect everyone. Once you're protecting yourself, you automatically protecting everyone that you are going around. You're protecting people at your job, people you run into the store with. Once you are protecting yourself, if all of us do the right thing, guess what? If all of us take precautions, guess what? This thing will die out and go away and run back to hell where it's from and never come back. All right, guys. So I gotta go. I gotta go. Your fashionista gotta go. Guess what? I have a birthday coming up. I am gonna be 51 years young. My daughter said I live on a young street. Ooh, 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 ooh that's what she said oh my god and i'm feeling good in my body i cannot complain life is great i cannot complain at all so you guys take care of your sweet self yes my birthday is not telling you but it's right here right here right here right here 
So guys, take care of yourself, social distancing, wash your hands, wear your mask. Remember guys, we are here to save lives and care for our elderly. Goodbye.